Welcome to the Continuum Lab. This is just a quick update video to share some news about the Continuum Lab instrument kit, about the channel, about the webshop, the workshops and some plans for the future. Let's do it. First of all, to those of you who already bought something over at the Continuum Lab webshop, thank you. I love you. You are a huge part of the lab and allowing me to continue to develop this project and sharing my designs and ideas with the world. And it's in no small part thanks to you that I'm able to share the first bit of exciting news which has to do with the Continuum Lab webshop specifically. The ContinuumLab.com shop is now entering phase two, which means first of all that there's been a significant price adjustment to everything on sale. This comes from a few things. First of all, I'm getting rid of the flat shipping rate. After a few sales, I now feel more confident that I actually understand stuff like uh, international shipping zones and volumetric weight and stuff. So the new prices reflect that. Uh, the price of shipping will now be added to your purchase depending on where you are, which of course is great for my Spanish and European friends. Apart from that, I'm lowering the price of the finished instruments significantly partly by getting rid of the free online consult from those products. As I've mentioned in past videos, this was just my way of adding some value for the customer without extra costs for me, thus uh, adding overhead for each sale for the startup phase. Uh, it was always my plan to get rid of this, and that's exactly what's happened now, as you can see over in the shop. The complete kit will still have this perk, but it will be the only thing in the shop that does. And that brings me to the next thing. As I've been promising for some time now, there is a new and cheaper version of the Continuum Lab instrument kit for sale. This version is smaller than the first one, but it's still fully featured with all of the sensor modules, breakout boards and materials, just fewer of each element, without the fancy box and without, as I mentioned, the online consult included. Uh, for now I'm pricing it at about half of the larger one, so why would anyone actually want to buy the larger kit at all? Well, let me try to explain. The original Continuum Lab instrument kit is a smorgasbord of components and materials. It has tons of sensor modules, several breakout boards, a huge selection of the exact materials that you see me use in the build videos. It's a MIDI instrument making toolkit which will not only allow anyone to make any of the click instruments starting from scratch, but which will also let them grow as a maker and explore different designs without running out of materials. There are actually now two Teensy microcontrollers in the large kit. This was a last minute addition just before shipping off the very first sale. See, I was talking to a friend, explaining to him my vision of how I want this kit to help people grow as makers, and he said something that makes a lot of sense. You see, the teensies in the kit of course come with eight instruments pre-programmed onto them, which can be made with zero knowledge of coding. Now, because this software is at the heart of what makes the Continuum Lab instrument kit special in the first place, I have not shared this uh, original multi-instrument code and I won't share it until the Click 2.0 comes out at some point in the future. But the code for the individual instruments is available for download and if the user has the skills then the chip can easily be reprogrammed using Arduino to further develop each instrument based on the original code or invent entirely new ones. But once a beginner takes that step and reprograms a Teensy there's no going back to the original multi-instrument program. So that makes it kind of risky, I guess, and that's what my friend helped me to see. What if the user already built several instruments and they don't want to lose the original code for those? Or what if they start down the Arduino path but they can't figure out the coding or uploading and so they regret getting rid of the original program? The solution, of course, is to include a second microcontroller in the kit. That way you can always keep the original setup while experimenting to your heart's content with a separate chip. And of course it also allows you to have two instruments functioning simultaneously, which is great. The new smaller kit only has one microcontroller included, but of course nothing's stopping you from buying a second board and uh, using that for your experiments if you're able to upload code to it yourself. So that's my vision for the larger kit. It's really meant to accompany you for a long time, helping you to grow as an instrument maker. I also think it would be an excellent gift idea if you know someone who wants to get into making MIDI instruments but doesn't know coding, soldering, sensors, electronics, whatever. Everything in the click can be made 
plug and play to begin with and then develop further from there. And of course, they would also get a free online class with me to help resolve any doubts and questions. And now some other news. If you've been following along here in the channel, then you'll know that I've been busy this past month publishing a new video roughly every three days. These videos are first of all the build videos which cover the development of the original Click prototypes. And with each of those there's also a companion video which explains in more detail how to calibrate and play each instrument. To be totally honest I'm a bit tired of the format. Most of the material for the build videos was filmed months ago when I made the original prototypes and this month I've mostly been recording the audio, making graphics and editing it all together. Basically, I already know these instruments inside out. But until now, I had only published a quick introduction video for each of them with very little information on how they're actually put together. So this work has to be done. But why, you ask? Who cares? Well, these instruments are the ones that come pre-programmed onto the microcontroller in the Continuum Lab instrument kit. And given that I've already sold several kits, there are some actual people out there actually waiting for these actual videos. Now, of course, each of the videos covers uh, two or three versions of the instrument in question and so they are quite long. The first five instruments which have already been covered are Ocarina, Melodica, Seaboard, the string instrument which I now call C string, the clixophone. These five form the core of the click as far as I'm concerned, but there are still three more to go. Those will have a slightly different format as I'm filming new material for all of them. Those are the recorder wind instrument, the membrane percussion set and a standalone breath controller. Now once that's all done, it's finally back to actual new instruments, designs and inventions. Can't wait. The final bit of news is about the Continuum Lab workshops. Now these are instrument construction workshops with kids down to nine years old where we use some of the techniques that I share here on the channel to make cool MIDI instruments using simple techniques and recycled materials. I got off to a pretty nice start last year with a lot of interest and quite a few workshops programmed but of course that was February of 2020. So I only had time to go to a single school because by the beginning of March everything had been COVID cancelled. Anyway, after a full year of pandemic lockdown, I now finally see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, a couple of weeks back I had my first workshops of the year at a high school in my local area. And this week I had a couple of more at a primary school in Barcelona. So those are ages ranging from 9 to 13 years old. Uh, I think that's probably it for this school year, but it's something. Now I haven't told you about this here on the channel, but I have been working on a simpler version of the Click Kit, which I call Click Mini, to use in those workshops. It also comes in the form of a pre-programmed Teensy board, breakout board, sensor modules and lots of capacitive sensors, but without uh, as many instruments and options. I'm using it and the workshops as a platform to develop and test features which will be in the main kit in the future. So for example, right now I'm working on a way to get on board audio working. I'll be back with more news on that and on the workshops in future videos. For now, I invite and encourage you to head on over to continuumlab.com to check out the updates. If you really wanted to buy a kit when I first launched, but you found everything just too expensive, then you'll definitely be pleasantly surprised. Take care until next time, and I'll see you in the Continuum.